Right, so I thought I'd try and get this one done a bit outside, maybe, uh, while we still had a bit of light. Because sort of light's fading a little bit and I want to get, while I'm feeling up to it, want to get it done and maybe get it in the email tonight or something like that. So, uh, so let's see if we can just give you a decent bit of light and maybe even st stay still for a minute. Okay, so we're just talking about the investments for a second. That's what this video is for. So you might consider like, um, what do we need the money for? Why do we need so much for an investment? And how does, it, uh, how does it pay us to earn our money and also pay us to give you such a great return? Well, in some ways it's quite simple. Um, and, and when I explain it, you'll, you'll go, oh yeah. But it is a thing, look. So you see that bag there? That's a bag, whoops, it's difficult to get there. Right, there's a bag, 250 quid's worth of 50 p's, that is. So there we have a bag, 250 quid's worth 50 p's. Every single 50 p in this bag is a brand new Paddington at the station. Great. But that's 250 quid. So, if I just put that on the shelf, go lovely, lovely, I'll save that. Because I know over the next two years I'll sell every single one of them. I'll sell, I could sell six times as many as that over the next two years. So I put that on the shelf. So, uh, but I've got I've got three bags of those, and there's seven coins just come out. So uh, if you was to say, well, I know I can sell four, say six bags of each one over a two year period. Um, six bags is 1250 quid 1250 quid times seven different coins you're into like eight grand you know so on the one hand you think well yeah just take the bag and put it on the shelf and earn your money out of it but on the other hand you go down I could go down and get some more there could be another couple of brand new bags and sometimes you know we get into the position where we have to sort of uh, I've got dry mouth sometimes we get into the position where we have to uh, forego a bag or let it go and, uh, and yet I know that if I just was to lay that up and, and, and put that on the side, at some point in the next two years, I'll sell that. I'll sell it wholesale, if not retail. Because, you know, not everybody can afford to lay money out and keep it on the shelf. So the people that use these coins for manufacturing and for jewellery and one thing and another and for birth years and key rings and all the rest of it, they haven't got the money either. So they, they buy it when they need it. And when they need it, the price might have gone up, but we're still sitting on it. So 250, so supposing you invest 250 pounds, that's the minimum investment, 250 pounds. Um, and there's so many at 250, there's so many at 500, there's so many at 1,000, so many at 2,500, so many at 5,000, it's only 10 of each, I think. Uh, or there's 40 at 250 quid and the rest is 10 each. Uh, and five of the 10,000. So supposing you invest 250 quid, your return on 250 quid at 25 percent is half of 250 125 half of that is 62 pound 50 so you get after 12 months you get 62 pound 50 interest now in 12 months i'm going to sell that bag and i'm going to get over a thousand pound for that bag and i've paid you 62 pound 50 for lending me the money to stick that bag on the shelf in the first place so when you consider the interest I'm paying you which is 25% which is absolutely massive compared to any kind of building society or bank or anything else when you digest it a little bit and you look at well okay what am I going to do with that money what am I going to do with that 250 quid and what am I going to return on that 250 quid because by sitting on that bag for the next uh, year or two I'm going to get over a thousand pound for that bag and if I've got six of those bags then I'm going to get over a thousand pound a bag for six bags over two years and I'm going to give you back, per 250 quid, £62.50 a year. £62.50 in a year's time, £62.50 a year after that, and the, the, the investment back at that time. So that's why I can, we can afford to give such a good investment, good return on the investment, um, even though we're dealing in a couple of quids. Because it does make you wonder, it's like, but you're only selling them for like two and three quid each. How can you afford to do that? And that's how, by being able to sit on the brand new coins. Sooner or later, the, the alphabets are gonna come out in some kind of force. 
you know, they're dribbling and drabbling about at the minute and it's winding everybody up and I get that. I know people are getting a bit wound up. Where are they? I wanted them for Christmas and all the rest of it. Can't, can't do, can't find what ain't there to find. You know, if we pick up a thousand pounds of a 10 P's and we find 10 letters that week, well, it's rubbish, it's crap, but there's nothing we can do about it. Another week, we'll go down and we'll get half a bag of letters. You know, they might all be the same letter, but we'll get half a bag of letters. That just happens that way. But sooner or later, they're going to come out in force. And when they come out in force, I'm going to have the option of potentially getting 10, 20, 30 bags of them. And at that point, you know, 20, 30 bags is two, three grand. You're just going to have and sit there in a the corner, as it were. So that's why I like to make sure that we've got plenty of money in hand, because it takes a lot in order to put a lot of money aside, as it were, put it on a shelf, waiting to sell it, like putting it in stock. Except it ain't stock because it's always worth the money that it's that it's there. So of course, anything ever went wrong, you ain't got to worry about it because you've still got the money there, sitting there, and it can, in, in an emergency, but always be taken back to the bank. So there you are. My oh, mouth's very dry, it's only because of the medication I'm on. So that gives you a bit of an idea on uh, on how it works. Oh, now I just did an update and I forgot the voucher code. So why don't we call the voucher code investment? Yeah, that's a good one, investment. All capital letters, voucher code is investment. And you get two quid off. Now remember the postage on our site is uh, 1.99 I think it is, but it's 1.99 whether you buy one item or whether you buy 10 items. So it's always worth just having two or three items. You get maximum value then for the postage. You get maximum value for your voucher at the end of the day. Um, we're, not, we're not trying to sort of rob anybody off. We have that 1.99 postage because we've got to make it worthwhile. We've got to cover the costs of somebody sitting there processing it and physically getting paid for putting the stamp on it and putting the address on it and packaging it and all the rest of it. So that's why we have a 199 minimum postage for the UK. Um, but whether you buy one item or whether you buy 20 items, it's still only going to cost you the 199. So there you go. Um, that sort of uh, explains that, I hope. And um, your voucher, like I say this week, two quid, the word investment, and um, and you've got to spend two pound to get the two pound. That's fair. Otherwise, how can you get two pound off if you can't if you don't spend two pound? So you've got to spend two pound to get two pound off. And the voucher code is investment. And what you do is you add whatever you're adding to your um, cart to your checkout. I'm trying to get a better light here before it all goes down. To your cart, to your checkout, and um, and then you put the voucher code in at the end and don't put a space. So just the word investment and that's it. If you put a space, then you're telling it that it's the wrong voucher code because it, because it thinks you're trying to put in a voucher code with a space, if you see what I mean. Every character is a password and uh, whatever. So I hope that explains things for you. We're taking a We've had a few people that were due their main payouts, i.e. their investment back, not just their interest, but their investment back, and they've put that back into the next one. Um, so we've been able to do that and accommodate there. Other people have been uh, getting paid out uh, with their returns, so that is being covered. And um, and as I say, this is the last one now for the main investment. We Once this investment has been done, I don't mean this video, I, I mean this this investment deal, this investment package over the next few weeks. Once that's done and dusted, uh, we won't need another one uh, because we will have everything that we need by then. So this is the one time to get on it and uh, and be part of us and grow with us and, uh, and, and have a vested interest in how we move forward. And it's great having so many people on board, it really is. It's, uh, it feels wonderful having that kind of uh, that kind of faith that kind of uh, investment in me in us even with things that have gone wrong even with the illnesses and one thing or another which you know things are being put in place to make sure that if anything happens to me i go and pop my clogs uh, it's all covered because everybody still is wants their jobs everybody's still but still going to do their jobs 
and the uh, advance order customers will still want their coins and investors will still want their payouts even if I'm dead and buried. But the business will go on because we're making the plans for that to happen just like in my personal life I'm doing a death plan just in case and, uh, and if anything goes wrong then everything's covered personally. Makes sense if I'm doing it through the business I might as well do it personally and, and face that. So, but regardless of all which, this is the best investment that you will ever be offered in your entire life. And, and the people that you're investing with are real and they're here and always in contact. So uh, come on board, please join us. Uh, that'd be great. And uh, if anybody has trouble paying by PayPal, don't worry about it, just email me and we'll give you the bank details and you can pay us direct into the business bank account. So that's no problem either. All right, so I think I've covered everything. I've done the voucher code now that I missed off in the last one. And uh, thanks very much. And uh, I'll talk to you in the next update.